Hi guys, Barmy for Spurred On. Welcome to another edition of Match Preview Battle. I'm here with Craig Mitch. I'm here with Emma Story. Craig's dropped his card. <laughs> Classic start. It's all going well. Um, last week we didn't have a match preview battle because Craig was in LA and Reese James was busy doing more important things. However, the week before that we did, and I've got to tell you the results and how they have affected the league table. So the last uh, match preview battle we did was Craig Mitch versus Reese James. Oh, it was God. for the Stoke game and here are the results Craig Mitch you got 16 points yes overall Still well done tally. that is a good tally except <laughs> Reese James got 18 oh points oh my what and so has anyone he, even got 18 yet so he takes the three points for that so this that's is that's impressive this is how the league table currently looks uh, Emma Story you're currently propping it up in third place but you've played a game less you've played for 1-0 <laughs> drawn three <laughs> lost one you have a plus 48 goal difference three points uh, second place, Craig Mitch, played five, won one, drawn two, lost two, plus 61 goal difference, very good, five points. Ooh. And top of the league, Reese James, who he's so on top of the league, he doesn't even bother turning up anymore. <laughs> uh, played five, won three, drawn one, lost one, as well as Craig, plus 61 goal difference, but he's five points ahead. So with... Um, Three games to go in the match preview battle till the end of the season. You guys have got some serious, serious catching up to well, do. Well, I've just got to worry about catching that one over hey, there. I'm not allowed to call Craig anymore. Yeah. If you've seen yeah. Spurverts, you'll know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you watch Spurverts, because of Craig Dawson, he refuses to be called Craig anymore. <laughs> um, anyway, do you think you can catch him up, Mitch? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Three games, yeah, it could it. change in a week. All right, well, not so a week, but... this is the match preview battle for uh, this week's coming Chelsea game away at Stamford Bridge. Notoriously... We do not get results there. However, uh, people might find this controversial. I think the pressure's off us a little bit now after the West Brom game. We can go there and relax a bit. But we'll, you know, we're recording this on Tuesday. Will Deli Ali be suspended? I know Emma's worried because we don't know at this point whether Eric Dyer is out of the game with concussion or not. It's a mandatory seven day, isn't it? Yeah, seven uh, days with no playing. So it's not even a case of him going back to training. He will literally not be able to do anything till next Monday if yeah. it's confirmed as concussion. So that you think that would rule him out. At much. this point, it, while we're filming, it hasn't been confirmed and I have very, uh, almost mischievously refused <laughs> to let them wait and do two different team versions. They have got to work out in their own minds whether they think <laughs> from Eric Dyer going down last night whether he's concussed or not when they do their team sections. Anyway, first of all, um, we are going to go into uh, the score prediction uh, first. So I'm going to go, Craig Mitch, what is your score prediction for Chelsea against Tottenham Hotspur? I'm going to go for 2-1 Spurs. Okay, very good. Okay, and uh, Emma, I'll come to you quickly. What is your score prediction? Funnily enough, it's 2-1 Spurs. Both gone 2-1 Spurs. Yes. Very positive. Okay, let's go for scorers. Let's go Emma Story. The boy Kane, because, you know, he's had one game without a goal, so he's clearly doing another one. Should have scored that one uh, yeah. where he went through. Great save by Bose Myhill, wasn't it? Great save, annoyingly. Against annoyingly. West Brom, but uh, should have probably finished that. I would have yeah. gone, do you know what? I've been thinking about this uh, because I didn't really sleep that much last night. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't shape to whack it and then just place it in the bottom right-hand corner. It's very, yeah, I was going to say, it's very un, un, un harry like really. Yeah. He's always going to the bottom corners. So I think uh, Harry's going to score. And I think, after all this practising and trying against West Brom on Monday night, Ericsson's going to score a free kick. OK, and uh, do you have a, a Chelsea scorer? I do, and I think it's irritatingly going to be that man Fabregas. Oh, Cesc Fabregas, mm -hmm. horrible. OK, Craig Mitch, your scorers, please. I've gone for Kane and Ericsson as well. Oh, oh. God, come on. I've actually, it's here. Yeah. Yeah, he's here. I've gone yeah, Kane yeah. and Ericsson as well. <laughs> I think Ericsson's due a goal after putting um, his free kick into Rosette. And after during Spurberts earlier in the week, you abused him for not scoring a free kick. Yeah, yeah. so, you time. know, they've got to go in eventually. <laughs> I mean, yeah. especially if you're, you know, touted as a dead ball specialist. Um, <laughs> and who's going to score for Chelsea? Unfortunately, it's going to be the man that did a medical with us and then decided to go Ooh. somewhere else. Oh. Willian. But I'm, I'm a fan of Willian. I think he's a good player, but I, he think, he will, I think he'll get a goal. Yes. And I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Do I get points for this? I think it's going to be 1-1 one, one, and then we're going to nick it. No, you no, don't, you don't get, get points, points for that. No. You can't nice try for trying to change the format in the middle. OK, <laughs> uh, so uh, team selection. This is where it could get interesting, uh, you know, with things that we don't even know. We don't know at this point if Deli Ali is going to be suspended. We don't know Eric Dyer's situation. So, Emma Story, good luck. OK, well, yeah, OK. I'm I'm going to keep it positive, um, hopefully. Um, Poch said 
uh, last night that he didn't think Dyer's injury was too serious. He said he was dizzy coming off, but mm-hmm. he hoped the knock wasn't too serious. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed mm-hmm. and say it's not concussion. He'll be assessed, I presume, on Tuesday. Um, so we say it's not concussion, which means, as far as I'm concerned, he will start. Mm-hmm. Ali, I'm, I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen, basically. So my team is unchanged. Unchanged. So. From the team that we started against West Brom. So it's Hugo in goal, mm-hmm. uh, Walker, Toby, Yan and Rose, um, Dyer and Dembele, Ericsson, Ali, Lamella and the boy Kane. OK, Craig, Mitch, have you been a little bit... Uh, adventurous. Adventurous, brave, different? <laughs> I think I am going to be adventurous. I hadn't been. But you know what? Scrap this. I'm gonna change what? it and be adventurous. Oh, he's going for points. He knows he needs points to catch up, Reese. This is clever. No, he leave can. me alone. He can. <laughs> he can. It's not countdown. I don't check. So in goal. It's the sounds of the Loris. <laughs> right back, Carl Walker. Centre half, Belgian bromance. Left back, Danny Rose. Ooh, here's where it gets interesting. All right, holding midfield, Dembele and Dyer. I'm going to say Dyer's not concussed. And even if he was, they're going to play him anyway and just, you know, just keep it under the wraps because we need him. Uh, um, like, when they, like when Hugo Lloris basically got le- um, knocked out and then they kept, they brought him, they let him play on. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I do remember season? that. And that's the reason that these rules got yes, brought that's in. True. I think, unfortunately, they're going to be jobs worse. And Deli Ali will get a ban because of Vardy. Yeah. They have to set yeah. precedent. I think he might be right. And I think Hyung Min Son's going to step in. And I don't know which position they're going to play in, yeah. but they're going to interchange mm-hmm. him, Eriksson, and Lamella, mm-hmm. and um, and Kane will be up top. And and, and do you know what? Obviously, Deli Ali is a miss, but I don't. I, I think Son can do a job. I, I, honestly, I think yeah. he can. So yeah, I, I think Son's going to come in for Deli Ali. Okay, I just want to say something now because it's just crossed my mind. Uh, I've remembered it, and I think Emma will appreciate this. I thought. Um, in the first half yesterday, Eric Lamella was excellent. Yes, he was. His, his decision was. making, which it isn't always the best if you ask me, he did everything right that first half yesterday. Now, we won't talk about the second half because it wasn't about him. It was just about West Brom and all the difference. But I, I have to say, I thought that was good. I thought I he was do, coming on. I do keep thinking with Lamella, if only we'd had him against Liverpool. If only he hadn't been injured. Yeah, yeah he quite could have possibly, won us that game. Quite possibly. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so on. we've done our lineups. So this is where we go into a little bit of non competitive action. Uh, memories. Uh, Craig Mitch, what's your memory of a Chelsea Spurs game you'd like to bring up? It's a bad one. Oh. <laughs> League Cup final oh. last year. Mainly because I was there. It was a bittersweet day because I was invited down by Spurs. I did some social media for oh, their Instagram and why. Well, I did. You know, it was a, it was a <laughs> special day for me. They invited so me down. Like, some of us just there as normal fans. Yeah, I was in the changing room, you know, <laughs> met everyone from Spurs, you know, it was great. Um, and then, unfortunately, you know, we lost 2-0. Yeah, we got mourinho that day. We, we did really get did get mourinho But, I mean, we hit, I mean, Ericsson hit the crossbar. Yeah, could have been different. Free kick. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. it was they, annoying. It was, they it was marked a... Ericsson out the game with Zuma, didn't they? Put Kurt yeah. Zuma in yeah. front of the back four. Uh, but Mourinho's not there anymore, so let's not worry too much about that. You've got a more positive memory, I think. Oh, Anna. I do. And everybody knows what I'm going to mention now. January the 1st. Mm, New Year's Day. New oh, Year's what day. day. What a day. What a day to kick off 2015 mm, with. I'll never forget that. Tottenham 5, Chelsea 3. Yeah, what a game. Let me repeat. Five. Five goals. Mm. Chadley's <laughs> best game ever. Unreal. That was, for me, the day that Poch's team arrived. Mm. As in, that was the moment where you went, right, yeah. this is the direction that we're going in. It was phenomenal. It was also completely like, I need to pinch myself and make sure I'm not still dreaming or still drunk from New Year's Eve. Like, it was just... She probably was. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe a little know, bit. Yeah, so yeah. I did have to keep checking the scoreboard. I mean, it was, you know, none of us could Even really believe what was going it, on. You were still She's drunk. a known member of <laughs> AA, by the way. <laughs> Yes, she drives a car and she needs I do she drive needs a car. roadside assistance. I do need roadside Obviously. assistance and home start. Of course. Uh, yeah, no, it was. Uh, I, I run out of words to describe how amazing that was. It's still, it's right up there as one of my best ever yeah. games. It was, at White Hart it Lane, was terrific. Ever. Uh, let's hope for some more of that uh, at the bridge because we haven't won there since 1990. Gary Lineker scored the winner. So, um, stat, Craig Mitch, what's your stat? Another negative stat. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, there's with Spurs and Chelsea, there's just a lot of negatives, really. You've got the one positive, and then after that, it's just like, well, you know, we've only beat them once in our last 11 Premier League games. 5-3, though, wasn't it? It was 5-3. I mean, it's what a way to, you know, get back right in there. But all that means is that we're due something. Definitely. That's all it means. I agree, and I think the pressure's off, like I mentioned before. Emma, what's your stat? I just realised I've forgotten to do a stat. Forgotten to do a stat. <laughs> wow. Maybe she, she should be docked at what? minus. What? I, I saw only right. That's 
that's not the competitive part of the match. No, you have not, not met the no requirements. Uh, well, There's stipulations involved. I think we mentioned an offer round. We'll, gi- we'll give you the uh, we haven't won there since 1990. Gary Lineker scored the winning yes, goal. That thank was you. Emma's stat. I knew thank that it you. came out of my mind for some reason. Okay, so now back to the <laughs> back to the competitive action. This is where I asked them to come up with scores for the other teams around us. Now there's been a bit of debate this morning because I've made them give the score for the West Ham game as well. I think because West Ham are still mathematically in with a chance of coming top four, and we are mathematically in with a chance of not coming top four. So that's why. So please don't make the mistake Craig did last week, and don't <laughs> give a, res- a, a prediction for the top six. Sorry, I just don't seem as relevant. But okay, yeah. so Emma, starting with you, the games that I want you to predict are Arsenal versus Norwich, Man United versus Leicester, Southampton versus Man City, and West Brom versus West Ham. Okay, so everybody saw Arsenal against Sunderland last weekend. <laughs> What a shocker. <laughs> they're awful. So I actually don't think that they're going to beat Norwich, even though Norwich are terrible. Norwich are fighting for their lives, and I think they're really going to dig in. So I think it's going to be 1-1. I think okay. they'll manage to actually score, but mm. I don't think they're going to beat Norwich. OK. Uh, I also think that Leicester are going to have to wait for their title party. Um, obviously, Vardy is now confirmed suspended for that game. Um, it's at Old Trafford. Man United are fighting hard for the top four. They've just reached the FA Cup final in like the most dramatic way possible. Yeah. They're going to be buzzing. I back Man United to beat Leicester 2-1. OK. That'll be slightly frustrating if it, that happens, won't it? Let's it, be honest. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it will. But, you know, let's just park that. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, Southampton, Man City, I actually found quite a tough one to call, mm. I must admit. But I think City are on a bit of a run at the moment. I yep. think they can grind it out. I think it'll be 2-1 to City. Can I ask a quick question? They've got Real Madrid on Tuesday night this week is yeah. that right so do they have Real Madrid in the reverse leg the following week or is there a two week gap because that could make Ooh, a difference I don't, I don't know off the top mm, of my head interesting but we're not ha- being very good on the stats no we're today. not being very good on stats today but um, what I would say even if they did have it have Real Madrid again the following week I mean the chances of them winning the Champions League are not huge mm, I don't know you they're know. playing Real Madrid I know That's well Real Madrid can't defend and nor can Man City so it'll be a <laughs> so bit, it'll like, be, it'll it'll be, be like when they play Paris Saint Germain uh, but, but we filmed my, this before the first yeah. round yeah, so we game. don't know. What I would but, say but, but is, I think there's a, a little there's a little similarity between when Guardiola went to Bayern Munich and Henkes had just won the Champions yeah. League and got and um, your man Pellegrini, the uh, the undead, yeah. he might the do undead. the same. He might do the same. I, City, no, I, I don't disagree. But the, I, the point is that they can't take their eyes off the ball top four wise at the moment. No, unless of course it turns out they've thumped Real Madrid five okay. nil. So in what the did first you go for Southampton? So I City? thought City will beat Southampton two one. Two one. Okay, and finally West Brom West Ham, oh, which will just be so frustrating. And so bloody irritating, but I think West Ham will beat him 2-0. I think West Brom will go back to being rubbish again. Okay. Which All is right. really irritating. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, Craig Mitch, what are your results for those? Right, so I'm going to go Arsenal 3-0 against Norwich. What? I just oh, think they're so random, Arsenal. On like at did home. Did you see them last week? I did. They were away against Sunderland. But I mean, they were at home. To Sun- oh no, they were away. They were away. They were away because we played at home. Yes. So you think Sorry. Arsenal will go two <laughs> points behind us at the weekend? No, because I think... Oh, before we play. Before we yeah. play. <laughs> yeah, 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 I do, I do. I think they're going to destroy Norwich. Mm. Um, I mean, this is just Arsenal, isn't it? Like, you know, Allardyce, he's a good manager. Mm. It's hard to play against Allardyce. Yeah. Norwich are just terrible. Yeah. Like, they're terrible. They've got no goal scorers in their team. Run. Cameron Jerome, are you serious? 3-0 Arsenal, OK? They're going to okay. destroy them. Man They'll probably lose the game after that. Manu Leicester, I'm going to go for a Leicester win. I think they're going to clinch out Old Trafford and make history there. I just... Man United, I mean, they got Rashford, they got Martial, but there's not too many scorers, whereas Leicester, I just think they're on such... They've got so much momentum, they're just going to kill it there and then. Southampton, Man City, uh, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man City win as well. Okay. And West Brom, West Ham, I'm going for West Ham to win 3-1 because West Brom, for some reason, played their heart out against us yeah. and they're going to go back to being Brom. crap. Cheers. OK, and uh, how, Craig, I'll come to you first. How does that affect your league table? All right, so my league table to... looks like this. Leicester, number one Let's champion. Let's go from sixth. Let's go from sixth to first. Let's keep this the same. Then I never said that. Yeah. So <laughs> number six. Uh, Craig, let's have your so league. So organised. You could just cut it in here. Okay, Craig, let's have your league table. All right. So and uh, number six. Well, I don't know why we're talking about West Ham, fifty nine. Mm-hmm. Only because it cost me a point last time. Number fifth, Manchester United on no, fifty nine as well. Number fifth. All right, fifth. No, oh, mate. Anyone can make mistakes. <laughs> Fifth, Man United, 59. Four. I like the way you did that again, like you think we're going to edit around that. That one I'm not editing around. So oh, she made a mistake. All right. Well. So number right. fifth, who? <laughs> number fifth, Man United, 59. Number fourth, yeah. 
Arsenal on 67. Yes. And then we've got Man City in third on 67 as well. So there seems to be a bit of a double up coming here. You know, 59, 59, 67, 67. And then Spurs, unfortunately, at second on 72. And then champions, Leicester on 79. I can't believe this. OK, OK. 79 Emma, points, how do, your, how do your results differ uh, with that league? Term? Number sixth. Number sixth is exactly the same. West Ham in 59. Number fifth, Man United, but on 62. Mm-hmm. Fourth, that lot down the road on 65. <laughs> so they could be caught up by Man United Absolutely. if it goes your way. Yep. Good. Uh, third, City on 67. Second, the mighty, the only Spurs mm. on 72. And top of the table, not quite over the line, Leicester on 76. Just four points between us and Leicester, according okay. to Emma. That's what I'm going for. Come on, come on, Emma. Who's one sounds right. more realistic? If that happens, <laughs> not only are we only four points behind and still in with a slim no, chance, but Emma will, be off, Emma will be off the non-wins yes! uh, Well, she won't, because she just put the most unrealistic in match preview <laughs> bell. Guys, let us know what you thought of their predictions in the comments section below. Let us know your predictions predictions for all of those as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel on youtube and follow us on twitter at spurred on tv come on you spurs how's it going everyone welcome to another episode of spurverts it's me craig mitch i'm back and He's i'm back. joined by the lovely emma story